when I came to Rapid City, there was a lot of chain restaurants. There certainly was a few smaller ones, but there, there wasn't somebody that had actually, you know, cooked in New York City and, and had, you know, gone to culinary school. Gourmet chef MJ Adams knew she had what it took to fill that niche. This New York French Culinary Institute graduate moved back to the Midwest looking for a change of pace and hoping to give Rapid City something new to feast on. 14 years ago, she opened the Corn Exchange Bistro. When I first got written up in Gourmet Magazine in 03, it put us and actually Rapid City on the map. That article was just one of five write-ups in Gourmet Magazine. Her farm-to-table menu has also been highlighted in Food Arts, Food and Wine, and Bon Appetit magazines. And I think it's really nice that when people come here that they're just very surprised to, to see a place like this exist. Although Adams was not surprised by her restaurant success, getting there was not easy. The original corn exchange burnt down. People called it a woman's restaurant and called her a vegetarian chef. And the corn exchange did not actually turn a profit for eight years. But one ingredient holding it all together was her passion. You have to be very passionate about it, and you have to believe in what you're doing. And here, a lot of people would try to give me advice on what I should do, but you know, I know what I wanted to do, and if it wasn't going to work here, then I was going to walk away. But Adams is a fighter, an outlaw like her relative, Wild Bill Hickok. And that fiery attitude comes through in her cooking. Nowadays, you can find this pioneer next door, baking sweet treats for her new specialty store, The Potted Rabbit. To me, food is such a special thing. You either really care about what you eat or you just eat, you know. And so, and I think what, what this restaurant's all about is about, you know, the quality of food and, and the farmer. A dining experience that continues to draw in visitors from around the country, selling out night after night. Her own metropolitan city within the star of the West Town. It's always a journey. It's never ending. I mean, you know, you're always as good as your last meal sometimes. I, I say.